Hello everyone, just a quick update on the weather situation. Um, so basically we've got quite a lot of warnings um, for winter weather across the uh, UK right now issued by the Met Office. Uh, as you can see, we have multiple snow and ice warnings. Uh, the most <clears throat> kind of prominent warning is this amber warning here, which comes into effect from 3 o'clock today and lasts until midnight. And that's going to be heavy snow showers leading to a disruption. Um, as you can see, uh, snow showers turning heavily and prolonged across Tuesday afternoon with um, 10 to 15 centimetres possible in a short space of time. So potentially quite a lot of snow and actually the charts for thunder snow, uh, which is quite rare. So it's going to be your classic kind of showers event, but these showers are going to be um, possibly bringing quite a lot of snow uh, with some thunder as well. And I think uh, there's already been reports of around 30 centimetres of snow across parts of the Scottish um, high ground of Scotland, I think, or around 10 inches is what the tweet said. We also have another warning of uh, snow and ice that came into effect yesterday and lasts until 9am tomorrow. Uh, 2 to 5 centimetres from snow showers is likely 10 to 20 centimetres above uh, 100 metres uh, ground. And then possibly more prolonged period of snow may affect Shetland and Orkney uh, this morning. Um, we have this yellow, oh, that's the same yellow snow and ice warning. Have a yellow snow and ice warning for Ireland as well. Uh, goes until 12 o'clock today. Potentially for 5 to 10 centimetres over high ground um, with a continued kind of stream of snow showers through parts of northern uh, Ireland. We also have one for northwest England and uh, North Wales. Oh, that's actually, that's actually the same warning. Uh, so same messaging there, uh, 5 to 10 centimetres over high ground. Actually snowed a bit in Cornwall last night and we still have this warning going to go it's actually going to expire in just one minute at the time of recording. You can see two to five centimetres, um, mainly above 100 to 150 metres. But I know some areas basically um, right at the coast got around 3.5 centimetres last night. And we have this yellow warning of ice, which goes all the way from across kind of southern England. Don't think it quite gets into Wales there, but all through southern England uh, with quite a lot of icy patches um, due to the kind of rain that fell and then turned to ice. Um, and then there's the warnings for tomorrow. And basically, we've, the temperatures are very cold across much of the UK and Ireland right now. You can see here, Luton Airport is negative three, Stansted negative four. And generally, it's just been quite cold. You can see Pershall there got to negative seven. A few places got uh, quite low, beyond below negative five. I reached negative five degrees last night. Even Heathrow is currently at negative two degrees, so pretty chilly. Uh, and then you've got some cold temperatures across Ireland as well, negative seven, uh, and then also into Scotland, negative three. So quite sub-zero temperatures uh, widely. So you can just tell it's been a very cold night. And as you can see, been snowing quite a lot. This was in Cornwall, started the snow and it settled quite a bit. Um, this is from the Highlands, probably snowy there, as you can see, a lot of snow. Uh, and then that's more from Cornwall. Oh, that's interesting. This is basically just the same tweet as that per Anyways, this person there. <laughs> anyways, so um, snow there as well. And then snow in Hexham, it seems. Basically, just been quite snowy. If I refresh it, um, we can see if there's anything uh, new on the latest page. So you can see, looks like it was quite snowy across western areas overnight in Wales, uh, Cornwall, northwest England. Uh, this was in Scotland. So but it's been quite snowy. Uh, in terms of what's going to come, we still got around three days left of this cold spell. As you can see, actually I'll go to a more high resolution model. Um, that's better. Uh, so you can see if we choose like, like the arpege you can see continued snow showers across northern and western areas uh, until basically the weekend uh, potentially we could be seeing something along the east coast as it's low moves through uh, and then by kind of friday it's likely to turn a bit less cold as you can see still cold in the morning but temperatures starting to increase if i show the european model on by kind of sunday monday we're kind of back into normal weather but basically, small chance for snow across the eastern coast during tomorrow, and then basically maybe something across Northern Ireland on Friday. And then it's going to stay chilly across the southeast on Sunday, and then by Monday, everyone's back to mild um, for now. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.